hand gestures, you've got the pause, you've got the gaze back, you've got the video size on your screen, the visualizer, you've got non-verbal signals or the tap tap on the board plus the modeling. Who are your teachers in your school that have struggled with the remote teaching? Uh, and as we know hand signals makes a big difference in the classroom, it does virtually also. Um, hurry it up, chewing gum in the bin, that type of stuff. So use hand gestures is the first yeah. bit. Question strategy. So it's not the number of questions you ask, it's the type. The feedback and assessment has to be timely, so it's when you pose the question that matters and how you respond. Um, what's the third planet in the solar system? Really important to add that pause because it gives you, from a working load memory, time to digest what I've said. So hand gestures, Pose the question, pause. We've also got the technique called gaze. Now, I've got my little teacher screen behind me here. Here's the work kids like you do physically. So, I've got my little camera over here. I can now talk to you over here. So, adding in more, more data. All these things make a difference. All I've got is two versions. Version one, seven times something equals 28. And make it even more powerful. I'm emphasizing the important bit we need to work out. Eye contact size of your video matters. Now the danger is you're going to be limited by Teams, Google Classroom or Google Meet. If you're watching on a desktop, I know that my camera is in the top right hand corner. But if I point down there, that I am interacting with the slides. And let me give you a cheap alternative. One in your purse, one in, one in your classroom drawer, one at home. Put it over your webcam. Okay, so suddenly I can do, right kids, watch me. Um, so I, this is my little academic background. Uh, and when I do my doctoral research, my supervisor always says, so what? What does it mean? Now, I, I used to do that one, so what? But I've now learned that if I go there, it's so what over there. Right, now what we're gonna do, and what can teachers do about it? So hand gestures, if you've got the pause, you've got the gaze back, got the video size on your screen, um, the visualizer, then you've got non-verbal signals, or the tap tap on the board, plus the modeling, plus the modeling, plus the modeling.